Greetings! In today's video I'm gonna show you how I made this scraper which I am preparing for my lathe restoration project. And without further ado, let's get straight to it. For this uh, scraper I bought the copper pipe, I bought the maple dowel, and I bought a couple of round rods, as well as C2 carbide inserts. This one is a 3 quarter by 3 quarter by 3 16 and this one is a half inch by half inch by 1 8 First step, I'm going to prepare the copper color for the handle to prevent it from cracking or expanding too much. I'm going to use the lathe to face and chamfer the edge of the pipe. Now, I don't have lathe cutting tools yet, but I do have a file. It clamps in a tool holder and gets the job done. Now, you want to be wiser and under no circumstances do you want to operate a machinery wearing gloves or loose clothing. And of course, needless to say, you need to wear eye protection. In a few quick strokes we obtained a copper color for our handle. This is a 1 inch copper pipe and our maple dowel is an inch and a quarter diameter. So we are gonna switch our lathe RPM to a higher speed and turn the maple dowel so that the color fits on it. The same improvised cutting tool on the lathe made from the file works wonders on the maple. I'm gonna eyeball the fit of the color and then finalize the turning process with the file. It turned out quite satisfactory. The next step will be center drilling the hole for the tool stem to go inside the handle. I'm using a 5 8 diameter tool stem for this uh, scraper and the drill bit that I'm using here is 9 16 diameter which is a little bit less to assure a right fit. I'm gonna mark and cut the length of the dowel. It looks kind of funny but it worked out pretty good and we ended up with something like this. Next we're gonna work on a mushroom cap for this handle and we're gonna use one and one eight hole saw to drill a sinkhole in this beautiful cherry that I use for the barbecuing. A cherry is a nice wood. It's stiff and it won't split too easy. So we're gonna clean that sinkhole and turn our handle just a bit to fit in it. This will do. I am going to use a regular wood glue to hold these two pieces together. And as you can see, the cherry piece, I roughly cut corners on it to make it easier to turn on the lathe later. The two inch screw will come in handy. We're using same file for the cutting tool on the lathe. And again, don't mind me wearing gloves, it's just too cold in the garage. You don't want to wear gloves while working on the machine. I found that using a rasp is much more effective on wood while turning. After brief sanding, our handle almost took its final shape. Next, I'm gonna grind the tool rod so that it fits in that smaller hole in the handle. After making enough sparks, we're gonna mix some epoxy glue. This one looks kinda sad. It's probably been sitting in a freezing garage for too long. And I actually had to use some pliers to get the other tube to open. That's a workout for my hands. I think it's time to retire these two guys. Rest in peace and don't come back. 
Good and thorough mixing of epoxy is very important to a good result. And as we can see, the rod is still hot from me grinding it, and it helps to liquefy the epoxy glue. I'm going to insert the rod in the handle, and I'm not going to hold myself back from being a little persuasive. Factory made scrapers vary in sizes from about 18 to 22 inches. So I'm going to start with the longer dimensions and then I will cut it if I need to. After cutting the length of the tool, I need to mark and cut out the saddle or the seat for the carbide insert. It is important to make sure that the seat area of the metal, base metal, is very flat and comes as close in contact with carbide as possible. This looks close enough. Compared to soldering, the brazing is a much more durable and harder type of metal fusion connection. It has a much higher melting point than this propane torch could ever deliver. After about five minutes of trying, all I was able to manage to do is burn some flux from the brazing rod. Gas acetylene torch would be the ideal tool for this job, but I don't have it. What I do have is the TIG welder, and I'm gonna use this to do the brazing. In this application of the TIG welder, the goal is not to melt, but just to heat up the base metal to get the brazing to flow. I set the welding current to be about 100 amps, and I was barely pushing the pedal. So maybe I was heating it up at 20 amp. After I got the carbide insert seating area primed with brazing. I started applying it there and heating it up with the base metal. Then I applied more brazing material in cracks to get it to fill the gaps. In the moment you will see some crackling and sparkling going on and that is when the brazing material and or flux just boil. This is how I know to stop applying heat in that spot. This is my first ever carbide brazing project. So don't judge me too harshly on what I'm doing. This rod is still red hot, but it looks all right. And this is after some initial cleanup. The braze has filled all the cracks and it seemed to be providing enough support for the carbide insert. This tool is almost ready. And after some finishing touches like sanding the handle and applying some clear coat on it. Yeah, make it like three coats of clear coating. I was able to bring all that cherry beauty out. Look at that beautiful cap. I sharpened it with rather large radius, so this must be like a finishing scraper. It will not put deep gouges in the material, but will rather leave shallow flattening scraping marks. Let's test it on some cast iron. I might have um, overestimated my own height and made the tool a bit too long. Maybe I will have to shorten it a little bit. Well, it does scrape. All I have to do now, make a couple more scrapers and work on my scraping skills. If you're still here, I thank you for your patience and ask maybe you can support my channel by subscribing for more projects like this one and some other ones too.
Also, if you saw something interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment if I'm short on something. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.